From the West Coast to the East Coast, we are spotlighting New York's tech scene all this week. We've spoken with the CEOs of Silicon Alley blogging site Tumblr and the private exchange Second Market. And now our Nicole Lappin also had a chance to get some face time with Foursquare CEO Dennis Crowley. Nicole joins us now from New York. With that, Nicole, tell us about your check-in with Mr. Crowley. Well, Emily, great to see you. The location-based social media company Foursquare is actually one of the largest startups based here in New York with more than 20 million users worldwide. With backers like Andreessen Horowitz and Union Square Ventures, the company has been valued as high as $600 million. And I had a chance, you rightly note, to check in with CEO Dennis Crowley at their brand spanking new headquarters in New York. They just moved in in January. I just sure. checked in to Foursquare HQ. Thank you. Who is the mayor here? Larry. Larry, Larry one Larry? of our engineers. Yeah, Larry is not here yet. If he was, we could go, uh, we could go call him out on being the mayor. You're not the mayor ever. I, I'm, well, back in the old office I used to be, but now... Okay. You got booted. I've, I've been booted. We let other people take it. Here, I'll take you on a little tour. Employee bike racks. You bike to work every day, right? I bike to work most days. That's my bike. So this area right here is all product and engineering as far down as you can see. And it's all mixed together. So we've got some designers, some engineers, some more engineers down here. I sit right behind this pole. Uh, we don't have any offices. These are all conference rooms on the side. They're all named after different Foursquare badges. Is badges something you're going to stick with? It's a fantastic onboarding mechanism for new users and it gets people really excited about like, you know, the places they're going and the accomplishments they're hitting. How many people are in San Francisco versus New York? Uh, San Francisco office is about 30 people, and I think there's about 90 people here in the New York so you're office. You're a New York company. Yeah, we're yeah we're a New York company. yeah well, our headquarters is based out of New York, which is um, you know unusual for a tech company of our size. But I think you know New York is starting to become an area we can really start to grow for large tech companies. How much is your headcount growing? Um, we're you know we hire as, as quickly as we can, right? And so like um, actually we can't hire fast enough. We're always looking for engineers. There's just a whole bunch of job postings on the website, and I don't think we'll ever really fill them all. So we're all on the 10th floor here, but we actually took the 11th floor too, and you can see, you know, it's cutting up here, <clears throat> and uh, there was no staircase. We're going to have to build a staircase eventually, but we don't need this space yet. We're just still filling up here. And so what we ended up doing was leasing out this space to five different startups. We built a couple walls, and you know, as we start needing the space, we can start taking some of it back, build a staircase, and start moving people up. We have a bunch of new folks starting this week, and everyone that starts get a little, gets a little care package. Hoodie, t-shirt, mini Foursquare. Yeah, it's cool. Is this a Foursquare ball? This is, well here, this is a little baby court. They would, uh, I think normally it'd be considerably larger, so therefore we have this little baby ball. Okay. And this is better when you have um, four people playing, not two. Bounce it. Bounce it. So that will get your natural. Let's talk about your monetization yeah, strategy. Yeah, let's, let's do it all, all, all day long. Yeah. Ball bouncing. <laughs> How do you guys ultimately monetize it? Yeah, so what we're finding that we're really good at is, you know, in addition to helping people find the best places to go to, helping places find the best potential customers, find the best people. Uh, so this summer, we launched a local updates platform that allows local merchants to send messages about what's going on at their places uh, to various users in the Foursquare community. Based on all the places that you've been to, all the check-ins that we have, we generally know what type of person you are. Do you like coffee in the morning? Do you like really expensive fashion boutiques? Do you like sushi on Wednesday? Do you like steakhouse on the weekends? Like, we have a really good sense of what people like and what they don't like. Everybody's going public these days. People compare us to Facebook. Like, Facebook did it, why don't you guys do it? Like, they've been around for, you know, eight years, almost ten years. Um, and we're just three years old, so we've got a lot more to accomplish before we even think about that. So no plans? No plans to go public anytime soon.